Hi, hi, hello, and in today's video, I will be drawing in Lavender Town's art style. I haven't done this in a long time. I do this every once in a while, just kind of because Lavender Town basically taught me like 99% of what I know, basics-wise, maybe not like painting and stuff, but like how I do anatomy and stuff. I even had a more cartoony art style for a really long time, but I ended up really not caring for it as much versus kind of the proportions and art style I have now that's a little bit more like anime-like. Ended up preferring that more. But, but yeah, for this, especially since I did just change my Sona, I wanted to have a new, a new version of this re, like a re, not a new version of me trying this art style again. I also just like trying it every once in a while because, I don't know, Lavender Town's art style is the funnest thing to do ever. Like whenever I don't want to, like whenever I want to not want to draw anything, I'm like, wow, I should try drawing in Lavender Town style. I really like that art style and it's easy. Or not easy, but it's not painting. And it's relaxing and I, it's, I really like I really love Lavender Town's art style. So for this outfit, I just did the basic outfit that you see in my little animated little guy in the corner. For this art style, I saw with a lot of the poses, especially for design videos, for designing the zodiac signs and stuff, a lot of them were either half body or just sitting on the ground. They're not, the reference aren't here because I just picked what I thought looked more, the most recent to her art style, which ended up being these pictures. And then there's the little reference to make sure of myself, to make sure I got the colors and everything. But yeah, I really, and I really like, God, I could talk about, nerd out about that art, this art style all day, but I love the eyes in, in, in Haley's art style. It's, I like the shaped eyes, I think, especially since this, my, the, my new Sona, which is supposed to be a dragon, it's supposed to be like a space raccoon patterned dragon. And so having the eyes be like little moons really just works, especially in this art style. Mine is a little bit too realistic for it to work for more than just like a cartoony joke, but in Lavender Town's art style, it actually looks like, or like simpler art styles like this, but particularly Lavender Town's, it looks so good. So yeah, and then for the line art, I tried to find a, a brush that was kind of textured, um, but kind of not, and had enough pen pressure. I don't think I got as much pen pressure as I could have. I'm not really used to working with the super varieties of pen pressure. To be honest, I don't really do line art all that much. If the fa the only time I do line art is if I don't feel like rendering something, and like my little reference sheet. I'm not gonna render that, so I'm gonna use line art. This is like an example. So having little, little old, little old, but not doing line art for so long, I'm bad at it. I was never good at it. My line art always sucked. Cause I, my hands are shaky and just deciding on, on a line is uh, like, hard because the way I draw is very general and the fact that I'm not I am very not a perfectionist about my art which can be a good and a bad thing but when I'm sketching I use such broad big chunky lines that it's hard to pick which line I should use or what part of the line I should use when I'm finally finally sketching or doing line art because when I sketch it and I do the cleanup sketch I'm like I already picked it but then I have to do it smaller uh, anyway it's like picking it twice and it's but I like doing line art in this kind of style I don't know why it's just when I look at it I'm like wow this is just so fun and cute and I love it when I, even though I hate line art <laughs> yeah for the eyes I did a, a mixture of a different of a different eye shapes I did see and then I decided to make the the horns more heart-shaped because I think 
if Lavender Town drew my little Sona. The horns are supposed to be like the there's it's supposed to be vaguely based off of or I don't even think it's vaguely at this point. I think anybody can tell this is supposed to be an East, Eastern dragon. <laughs> I just like the way they look. The only dragons I really draw are like Eastern shape because their anatomy is just noodle. But of course, that's what I would make myself so that I, so if I ever have to draw the dragon form, I just have to draw a noodle. They're like giant ferrets that can fly. Actually, that's kind of cool. <laughs> but I have this squishy that's also a dragon that's green that I've named Comet because I have autism and Comet has the little bud horns and that's where I got that from. I made them more like little hearts because that was kind of the shape I was somewhat going for but more horn-like than heart-like but kind of heart-like and I thought if Lavender Town drew it, it'd be more heart-like than horn -like, if that makes sense. But yeah. Everything else are pretty much kept the same. I added all the extra blushies because that is another thing that's pretty trademark about how she draws. No matter how her style kind of changes depending on what she's working on, it's all there's always lots of blush. I don't really do as much blushing anymore, but when I did, I know where it came from. And I still like to add, like when I'm customizing a video game character, I put way too much. I have like, severe blush blindness <laughs> and highlighter blindness <laughs> when it comes to like making characters. <laughs> so yeah, and then for the cell shading, which we'll get there in a second, I just used a purple and I overlaid it because my skin tone is a fantasy skin tone. It's hard to tell in comparison to all the purple, but it's a pale pink. I really like pale pink. I thought it looked better with the purple. So I just have to worry about making sure the shading looks pinky and purple enough for the cell shading. Lavender Town doesn't always do cell shading, but I feel like that's what she's the most known for, that and like a little bit of blending. But I just did cell shading because I feel like that's... Like when it comes to some of the stuff I pulled up, there was some blending like in the eyes and like the blush, but like when I looked at the actual like shadows, it was either maybe like a little bit of an airbrush, maybe, or like a gradient. That's the word I'm looking for. I use an airbrush, but in, in like normal people terms, it's called a, a gradient. <laughs> and cell shading, so that's exactly what I did. I added the gradient after, because I wasn't sure what kind of lighting I really wanted to do. And I thought I could just like remedy that with a gradient. <laughs> I used to do that a lot, but I just decided. And if it was too stark, I would probably just—I was probably gonna just redo the shading. But I knew I didn't want to go like crazy on the shading because I did want people to be able to see like the line art and all the stuff. But yeah, I just really. I'm gonna repeat this a million, hundred million times that I love the way this turned out. I really think it's cute. I haven't really liked drawing my Sona in a really long time, and I find I think I actually finally do. I just hope I don't kill it by trying to like draw up all those little things I need for YouTube on there, which I already have half of it or most of it because I have the banner, a profile picture, the intro. I need to make an outro. And a, and a little watermark, which should be on the side, which should be changed. Because I forgot I had that, and then I looked in my YouTube, and I was like, oh, I have that. I should probably update that. <laughs> so, yeah. And then another thing I realized, like, that Lavender Town does recently, instead of the big, like, bigger highlights on the hair, she does smaller, but just still white highlights, but smaller. So I added that. Yeah, and then for the tail and stuff, I didn't add the scales until after because I didn't want to have to fill budget all of those scales because I think I'd just die. And then for the background, I did some clouds, like a purpley cloud scene. I'm not really sure where I like to put my like character most 90% of the time. I really like the field. I really like the, the secret garden from House Moving Castle. 
which is where the first environment's based off of and what the background of this video is because I love it so much and I really like looking at it while I'm recording these voiceovers. But I feel like the pajamas don't work in a secret in house secret garden. I feel like that's like desecrating house secret. I feel like you can only wear like nice Ghibli looking clothes if you were to go to house secret garden. And even though it's not a real place, I don't want to desecrate on it even in a drawing form. So I wanted, so I put, I put myself in a new environment. I don't know if this environment's gonna stick or not. I might, I'm still gonna think, figure it out. I do like the clouds. I think it looks very cute, especially again, with this art style that's art. So cute about that. I don't know if that picks up on the mic. A ferret is dragging a, a box across the floor. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys. I'm just, so, okay. I just love the way this turned out. It, I love the colors. I just, I love the way my little tattoos came out. I like the way, I just like how it all turned out. I think it looks so good and it looks so much more in, especially in the base of it without the shading and stuff. It looks like, to me at least, it looks a lot like her style. And that makes me really happy that I was actually able to recreate it pretty well because I do like to study art styles every once in a while as I did with the stu Studio Ghibli. I was really happy to recreate that whole, like that art style because I appreciate it so much. And same thing with Lavender Town. I like to recreate her art style because I appreciate it so much. There's some other artists, but it would take a long, it might take longer than me a week for me to finish to recreate on a piece in their, in their art style. Like Nit Nitrix um, would take me a long time to actually complete and do full justice. It'd probably take me like two weeks. Um, but I know videos, this shouldn't be in a part one and a part two. I, I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys like the art. If you, if you really like the art, you should like and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, you should comment. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.